Hi, so I promised to be back with some more videos of quick tutorials for Jira. And today I was struggling with creating a project, putting the columns in the right place, this was actually the easy part, but then making sure that on my Epic, I have the due date, the start date, so I can actually see a nice Gantt chart. But I couldn't find how to do it. So I thought, why don't I just create a very short video that I can myself watch later on and maybe it can also help you guys in your struggle with setting up stuff in Jira. Let's dive into it. All right, so as you see here, I have my Jira project that I already created, but I will show you again because it's really good to get the hang of it, how to do it quickly. We can create new project from two places. One is create Jira project directly from here when you go to projects, or if you go to projects, you see all the projects, you can create one here. This time I want to create a Kanban board because I want to put here some things different departments need to do together. So instead of having a spreadsheet, we thought, why don't we use Jira? So this will be like a very short lived project for the specific project actually that has an start date and an end date and then I will just kill it, trash it. So I want to use this template and as I said before, I prefer company managers project. Team manager project is one that everybody can update everything. We might not want that for our company. If it's just for you, for your daily stuff with a few other team members, that's okay. You can do the team manage project. Everybody will be able to change everything. But in this case, I prefer that there are the admins who can do it only. Project details, Jira tutorial two. I will then change it to the secret name of the project. JT2, that's okay. You can, you know that the key, you can put whatever you like. This one I already took, so I will just use the one they suggest. I actually like that. You can change it and create project. So there we go. The project is there. And as you see, if we create directly a Kanban board, they will create, they improved. So we don't only have to do in progress done. We have like a real Kanban. So we have a backlog. We have selected for development. So the ones that we refine and are ready to go, and this is when the counter starts in progress and done. Done is when the counter ends. And if you go here, you can go and you see, first of all, you see the query that's used for the board. You can check it here. There was a time I always was opening this. You don't have to open it to see the Jira query. You can directly see it in the project settings. This is the project. Basically everything that's in the project is on this board and that's okay. That's what I actually need. What I will change though is the columns. So basically if you want to change, for example, you might want to put that we at least have to have three things selected for development. So this helps, this puts all in red when there are less than three items in this column. So usually we put the maximum for other columns. For example, in progress, I don't want to have more than five. There are a lot of people working on this, so five is okay, but not more. So when we have in progress more than five, it will go all red. And when we have not enough to select for development, it will also go red. So this is, this is helpful. This is helpful to see like, okay, at what pace we need to refine stuff and prepare it for development. And then a roadmap is already on. So what I want to do is when I create an Epic and I have, let's say architecture alignment, this will be the first step. It directly got created. I want to check now if I have the necessary fields. And as you see, I have very few fields on this. What I am interested in showing is that, I, you see this Gantt chart? So this Gantt chart is only possible if I have start date and end date. Let's see how this actually happened because I don't see start date nor end date here. This is cool that you can actually show it like this on the board without even having the field. But just to make sure that we can be more precise because this is a bit strange for me. It's cool, but just important thing. You, I already said, we have two settings in Jira. We have settings here and we have settings of the project. So I want to go to the project settings and here I already know the path. I need to go to types 
epic and here is not what I hoped for workflow okay so we have we can edit the workflow so this is the workflow that we can currently have I'm okay with it I don't care and here we have the field so this is important if you want to show the start date and due date and this way it will be easier to make sure where we want to see this Gantt chart so start date and due date back again you need to go to project settings issues types and click on the issue type you want to add fields to now we can check if actually if i added those fields to epic would they be added to story as well yes look at that so basically this is one of those things in jira because you would think i don't need the same fields on a story than on the epic but probably some setting is set to that the screens are the same in all the issues so don't start deleting fields from one of the issues if you want to have them in the other because then they will disappear so it's actually better to just drag and drop as you see important stuff can go like security level i don't need this what is this the ones that are important for you you can just drag them up i want this to be to be seen better because i want everybody to put it so i have epic name summary issue type components start date due date well description could be higher even and so on now we dragged and dropped it if we check we probably have it also this as well yeah so it's the same this is it as you see we now have the epic in our backlog a selected for development we don't have the three that we should so this is yellow it's yellow not red and the project is there and if i go now to this epic start date and due date so it reflected the one that i put here without having the fields on the epic so there are two ways to do it i'm happy as it is now that's what I needed. That's basically it. I hope this helps. It will definitely help me for the future in endeavors when I have to go again and add a field and I forgot how to do it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And let me know in the comments below if you have any problems with Jira so I can solve them for you. Remember to like and subscribe because I will be putting more of those tutorials. So the next one will be about custom fields. Remember to subscribe so you will get notified once it out. Thank you. Bye.